I know I say this all the time, but this one is really easy. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome to my channel. For those who are here first time, welcome. And for those who are here second, third or whatever time, welcome back. And today I will be again painting a butterfly. You know, you can probably already notice that I do love butterflies and I guess they are the animal that I paint the most. Well, there are not actually many animals I paint, but well, butterflies I do. So I've started off with making my sketch and I trace it onto a watercolor paper with graphite paper. And of course the sketch will be available for download. So you can find the link down in the description box and go ahead to my website and download the sketch for yourself and join in. So also the second thing I did is with a masking marker, I draw the lines or go over the lines that are the edges of my butterfly because I don't want to, when I do my background, I don't want to go into my butterfly. But you know, really you can do this without that masking marker. Just be careful when you go nearer to the butterfly, not to go into the butterfly. But even if you do go slightly into the butterfly, it doesn't really also matter because the butterfly at the end will also be blue. So if you get a little bit of color from your background, that would be just fine. You know, it was easier for me. I, I didn't feel like, you know, being careful when going on the edges of the butterfly. So the my paint doesn't go into it. But so I did use a masking marker. But to be fair and honest, you don't really need it. So don't be bothered if you don't have it. Just be careful when you go near to the butterfly. And for the background, I am using Azure mixed in with emerald green. And I'm just stopping in here and there a little bit of that paint, less paint near to the butterfly and more going upwards to the edges of my paper. After that, I've sprinkled just some clean water and this time I did use a larger brush because I wanted those sprinkles to be larger and just to leave to pick up paint in a larger area and just make those white spaces a little bit bigger. And afterwards I've sprinkled a little bit of lemon yellow and after that just a little bit of salt. So I've added a little bit. This is just a regular table salt. One thing that I want to mention when you're using salt on watercolors, just make sure not to dry your paper with dryer. Just leave it to dry naturally because if you dry it with your dryer, you won't get that beautiful effect from the salt. The better effect you will get if you just leave it to dry completely naturally and it has to be completely also dried. Don't try to rub your salt off before the paint and water and paper completely dries because you will just smudge it all and you'll just make a mess. So it has to dry naturally and it has to dry completely. Before moving on to painting a butterfly, I did privet the paper where my butterfly wings are and then just using Mars Brown and which I mixed a little bit of that Azure. I'm painting in the butterfly wings and I'm painting them slightly more saturated, slightly more pigmented on the part nearest to the body of the butterflies and a lighter on the edges to of the wings. And you know, I've actually the, that part nearest to the edge to the end of the wings, I didn't even paint, I did leave it white. And now with a script brush or a liner brush, I'm painting in those wings lines on the butterfly wings and this time I've mixed some Mars Brown and added to it a little bit of ultramarine to make those lines though so they're not wings I'm not sure how they're called so those lines on the butterfly and now the paint is starting to dry so somewhere it is slightly bleeding and on some parts those lines are a little bit harsher so how whatever it turns out to be in your butterfly that is fine because this butterfly is slightly looser you know it's not a realistic butterfly it's a looser one the butterfly body again i'm painting with that mix of mars brown and ultramarine and as you can see i did not actually paint the entire body with one wash but i've just slightly painted it with a lighter wash also skipping some parts leaving white and then adding on the top a little bit more of that color just to make that part where his head is a little bit darker and then again when it all dried i'm adding a little bit more of those lines just making the separation 
relation between those butterfly wings and again adding some details to them. Later on, I decided I want the body of the butterfly to be slightly darker, so I've added neutral black to my mix and painted in his body and also a little bit on the wings going outwards from his body, also used that darker color. It was looking too white to me, so I've added a little bit of emerald green on the wings here and there. But if you like your butterfly the way it was, you don't have to add that green. I, I do love it, I do like it, so I've decided to add it. And then again, a little bit more of that dark paint to the butterfly body and the edge of his, the part of his wings nearest to his body. Then again, sprinkled some paint. I love sprinkles, so they, has to be there. they have to be everywhere. And with a larger brush, and I did not prevent the paper, with a larger brush, I'm just gliding with the tip of the brush, I'm just gliding over on my paper. And I'm not really trying to paint in the sea, the water, or anything particularly special, just making an impression that there is maybe some water. So I did those lines. Later on, I will also add a little bit of lines with azure and then with that again mix of ultramarine and mars brown where the reflection from the butterfly is in the water and with that i'll be finishing off this painting and of course this video wasn't it easy i said it would be easy it is easy i'm sure it is easy yes and white gouache sprinkles with white gouache i also added those and well, I hope you like this video and if you do like it, please hit the like button, share it, comment and if you haven't still, please subscribe to my channel and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!